Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is the potential start or rebirth to an old series. I used to have a series on my channel where I would go out to thrift stores, uh, see what I could grab. I think I only made one or two episodes and then I would unbox the item on video, upload it and talk about it, test if it works, see what other cool stuff came with it and go from there. Well, I don't have the setup yet to do the unboxing and the real life stuff yet. Still working on that part of my office, but this episode, I figured I'd still get it started back off because a friend of mine actually suggested starting this series up again as a uh, as some videos because I have more than enough stuff that I can go through. And I wanted to make this video today and do some digging around a really cool thing I got today. So part of these videos is going to be looking at the item, judging the condition, does it work, uh, is it functional as it should be, etc, etc. So I got something pretty cool today and I'm surprised I didn't have one of these already. A Nintendo Wii, complete with a power cable, sensor bar, GameCube memory card, a Wiimote, the video cables, a stand, and an official Nintendo Wii 4 gig SD card. I have never seen one of those in person. Never seen an official Nintendo Wii SD card. Actually, here, I'll pause this real quick and I'll Google it to show you what it looks like. All right, it's one of these. It's an official, uh, mine doesn't say DS, I don't think. I think mine says Wii. Let me double check. Yeah, mine says Nintendo DS and Wii. So mine's not exactly this one. Uh, mine actually says Nintendo Wii on it. But pretty cool. I've never seen one of these because they were always so overpriced. What was the point in buying it? Maybe not back then. Maybe they were about the same. But let's get right back into it and see if this thing works. So, right off the bat, condition, not great. I'm going to be honest with you. Condition, I would put it at about a B- minus if we're doing like a cell phone grading scale. The Wiimote is a little bit dirty because it had a Wii condom on it. It's a little gross to hold. It's dirty. But it works. I threw some new batteries in it. Fully works. So, I want to turn on the Nintendo Wii. See what's on this thing, see what's on the SD card, see what's on the GameCube uh, memory card. I don't even know if there's a disc in the drive. So let's turn this on. It's going to be a blue screen for a second for you guys. Sorry. It's just the way my oh so crappy USB to uh, component works. So far it works. Let's see if this was the original Wiimote. It is the original Wiimote. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. This looks sweet. So I'm kind of multitasking here. Um, I'm doubling up the OBS as my actual screen for this as well. It has Wii Sports in it! No way! Oh, we need to find out if it's 1.0 or 1.01. If it's 1.01, we already scored. So the important thing about uh, Wii Sports... There's 1.0.0, or 1.00, and there's 1.01 or 1.02. I forget exactly how it works. This Wii mode is kind of disgusting. I wish I would have cleaned it first. So for speed running, you want to have the 1.00 because there's certain speed running tricks you can do. And if you don't have um, that 1.00, obviously you can't do those tricks. So that's kind of why everybody wants that specific version. But for right now... Uh, there's my little hand because this thing's ugly. Let's find out if this is truly 1.0 or 1.01. We're going to find out right now. I really want to know. So far, audio is not picking up for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind till the time is right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's not capturing sound, and I can't make it capture sound, so, oh well. 
Anyway, so we'll know by the title screen which version this is. 2006-2007, it is unfortunately 1.01. Oh yeah, the Wiimotes have a speaker in them. wonder if this person has any records. You know what? I want to wait to do all that kind of stuff until after we go through the SD card. My setup is really ghetto at the moment. Sorry if that was loud. I have to hold the Wiimote just a certain distance away. I'm trying to make it work for me. Oh my god, this Wiimote's so sticky. Anyway, they had Netflix on here. Okay, Nintendo Channel. They didn't have much that way. Let's see if there's anything on the SD card. Loading from the SD. Amazon Video is the only thing on here. Interesting. What about... I want to know about the... GameCube memory card. How do I check that? I totally forget. Let's go data management. That's right. Um, save data. Let's look at the GameCube. Oh, they played some good games. There's Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Party 5. Mario Kart Double Dash. Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine. Very nice. So, I actually have those games. And I can actually check their game saves and find out what they did with this thing. Um, let's actually look at the Wii itself. Oh, so much stuff. Okay, somebody had Wii Fit. Mario Kart Wii. Zumba Fitness. Okay, somebody actually used this thing. That's really, actually really cool to know this thing has such a past. Um, game Party, if never heard of that game. Lego Pirates, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Disney Universe, Super Mario Sluggers. I love Mario Sluggers. And uh, the soccer one. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, Mario Strikers. There it is. Okami. Good game. Mario Party 9. Skylanders. Mario All-Stars. Bakugan. Mario uh, Galaxy 2. Oh my god, this thing was used. So much. Super Mario Galaxy Fling Smash. Wario Land Shake It. Mario and Sonic. We play. We sports. We sports resort. That's the game I don't have, and I really want it. Oh, new Super Mario Bros. Wipeout. Kirby's Epic Yarn. And Amazon Instant Video. Let me look at the SD card. nothing that's what i figured okay oh you can also okay cool so this nintendo wii has had a good strong life honestly that's really cool to see i love coming across a game console that has actually had a really good strong life a lot of use that means that somebody got a full amount of enjoyment out of the thing which isn't that the point of gaming you know just enjoy it um but yeah it's in good condition we can play games on it and it looks like it's something that I could clean up really nicely. The coolest thing about this, and I don't know if I said this in the intro, this is the first black Nintendo Wii I have ever come across at a thrift store and ever owned myself. I'm actually going to keep this. I paid $35 for this. Uh, $34.99 or something like that. What's in this? Oh, just today. Cool. Cool. So I paid 35 bucks for this, which I think I got my money's worth. Knowing that I paid 35 bucks, let's switch over to my own desktop view and we will uh, compare it to prices on eBay with a list in Notepad to know if I made out in the positive or negative. So let's switch over to my desktop here. Give me one second. So I'm going to make the notepad list real quick, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's figure this out. I got eBay pulled up. We're going to use eBay pricing for this. I got my list of things that I got in this bundle, and this is what I spent as a total, $37.61. So right off the bat, obviously, we'll look up the Nintendo Wii. Nintendo Wii. Something I've never owned, surprisingly, is a Wii U. I really want to get one. And we're always going to go off of sold listings because what something is posted for doesn't really matter. But as you can see here, this is not a Wii U. I made sure. I wish it was a Wii U. 
Actually, here's a nice package. I don't really like going off of bidding, though. Let's see. Most of these are Wii U's. 65 bucks, everything included. I did not get a nunchuck, though. Let's see. So about 65 is the current going rate for a black Nintendo Wii. 60 to 65. I actually have basically this entire package here, actually, in my closet. Somebody got one for a steal. That's good. But it looks like going rate is about 65 bucks for a black Nintendo Wii. So we're going to say 65 and I know that was kind of a full bundle because that includes the Wiimote, the cables, and the sensor bar. I'm not going to split that up. We're going to just look up things still individually and um, we'll go from there at the end. But right away, you know, just looking at this versus this, I've already won. I paid less than 40 bucks and... Pretty much everything here except the inclusion of Wii Sports in this SD card and the memory card. Yeah, I already won. So we're going to look that up. Next, we're going to do GameCube memory card. Is there a specific model number on here? I mean, it's one of these black ones, so we'll just look at that. Um, Wow, some of them are expensive, actually. So maybe, oh, that's three of them. I can't read. I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah, we're looking at 15 bucks. That's not bad. I thought they would be less, actually. Not even going to lie to you. Nintendo Wii 4GB SD card. This is the exact one I have. So 15 bucks. Awesome. In the packaging still. That's really cool. About 14, 15 bucks. Not bad. Wii Sports. Now, we're not going to know, so right there you can tell they know that it was the 2006 variant. 2006 variant, that's the one you want. So I'm not going to take a price for a 2006 variant when it's actually a 2007 version, because there is a big difference. I do have the 2006 version somewhere, I need to find it. But since I'm not finding it specifically, we'll just like take this lowest one and say 10 bucks because that sounds fair. I would pay 10 bucks for uh, Wii Sports. That's fair. Um, Wiimote. I need a Motion Plus thing still. I would love to get a blue controller. That's actually really cool. Um, let's see, a Wiimote. You're looking at, in general, about 15 bucks. I'd say mine falls in the $15 category. Five, that's a steal. Nice. So we'll put 10. Mine's a little dirty, a little gross. Whatever. Sensor bar. We. Actually, funny enough, a lot of people don't realize this. You can actually just use two candles as a sensor bar if your sensor bar ever breaks. Um, because the sensor bar is nothing more than just an infrared camera uh, or two little infrared lights. But we're looking about six bucks. I actually have the bigger sensor bar as well. I have that downstairs attached to my TV. It makes things a little bit more sensitive, which is nice. Let's see, Nintendo we stand three bucks that's what i expected three bucks eight bucks we'll call it five and cables nintendo we video cable eight bucks makes sense six bucks if it's an official cable i would be surprised if it's actually more than five five to six bucks so five for the video Power cable. 12 to 20. We'll call it 10. So 15 bucks for cables. Total that out at... I'm not counting the Wii condom in this. The Wiimote condom. 
65 plus 15. Honestly, I'll say it was like 40 for the Wii itself, maybe 30. Um, we'll say 30 console only. And I'll do... And I'll math it out as console only. So 30 plus 15, already at 45, plus 15, plus 10, plus 6, plus 5, plus 15. That's $96 for everything here, or plus another 30 if, you know, the black Nintendo Wii was truly worth 65 whole dollars. But even still, it would be 65 plus 15. So we'll do total other, other total. So it'd be 65 for the bundle. 65 plus 15 plus 15 plus 10 because it didn't say if it came with the game or not. Uh, and it did not come with the stand. So we're still at 110 if it's console bundle, the game, and these two items. Honestly, $37.61, that's a steal. My next video is going to be all about how to jailbreak one of these because I want to bring back old school jailbreaking and game modding. It's a fun time. That'll be a couple episodes because it's actually quite the process to really get it from, okay, you jailbroke it to you jailbroke it and you can do whatever you want on this thing. And that's the point I want to get this thing to. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll even show how to set up an external hard drive in a future episode Let's get this channel going. I have three videos backed up and scheduled to upload. It is good to be back and good to hang out with you guys again. Streaming should start soon. I don't know when. I just got to figure a few things out as far as like, do I need a camera and all that? I don't know. But I'll talk to you guys later. I am going to go straight into doing the letter bomb video for this. And we'll go from there. So... Hope you guys are excited for the new series. Next episode, as far as hardware-wise, I'll let you guys pick. Video game console or vintage electronic? Another video game console or vintage electronic? Let me know in the comments down below. Peace out, guys.